What's up, everybody? Today, I want to talk about my new book, No Justice. I know we don't talk about the books a lot on this channel, and this is not an aviation-related book um, exactly, but uh, like the title suggests, it's the new book, and I'm not sure if it's really going to get me canceled or not. Maybe. It depends on how sensitive people are, but it is a book that took a while to write, and uh, maybe I actually stopped a few times. And so I'll tell you about the premise. We can talk about some of the processes and stuff, and hopefully you'll decide to go pre-order it and buy it um, because I enjoyed writing it. So No Justice is the third book in the Alex Shepard series, and if you remember from I Am the Sheepdog, uh, he became a school resource officer with a canine in Texas under the new identity of Troy Wilson. And uh, he thought he had left his past behind, but in the news, uh, and this is, like I said, I started writing this book back in 2019, but uh, there is an officer-involved shooting in South Louisiana with a state trooper that causes rioting and law enforcement officers to start getting ambushed. One of his former teammates is ambushed, and so when he re hears the news, he decides he's going to go to the funeral incognito so nobody recognizes him, because remember, everybody, they all think he's dead and he's gonna go uh, pay his respects to his teammates. When this happens though, the, uh, there is another ambush that he's involved with, and he decides he's gonna actually try to figure out what's going on and what's behind all these attacks, and that takes him down the path of uh, trying to figure out if there's something bigger going on, which it wouldn't be a book if there weren't. Uh, that leads him down a winding road of investigation, action sequences, and all the good stuff you'd expect from an Alex Shepard novel. Uh, it's written in first person just like the other two Alex Shepard novels. Realize that Absolute Vengeance is the first time we see Alex Shepard. Uh, the Helios Conspiracy he's in, but not as a main character per se. And then uh, picks back up with I Am the Sheepdog and then this book. And so why do I think it might get me canceled or why is it controversial or whatever? So I started writing this, uh, the prologue in 2019, and I got the idea got a friend that's with the uh, state police. He was on the uh, DWI task force. And I got the idea of what happens when a traffic stop goes wrong because, you know, he was telling me he does things out in some areas of uh, Louisiana, sometimes without backup anywhere around. And if things go sideways, he's on his own. And so the premise is this traffic stop is the standard one, kind of like you see in the news where it goes sideways, you've got an uncooperative suspect, and then somehow off camera, conveniently, at least so they say, uh, there's the officer involved shooting, and that causes turmoil. Uh, so we don't really get in depth with that, and the reason I stopped writing is because a lot of what was going on in the book actually ended up happening in real life when uh, 2020 happened and George Floyd and some of the other officer involved shootings, and I kind of got uncomfortable. I was like, ah, you know, I don't know because it was just a bad time for law enforcement and just a bad time in general. Um, and I, I, I just didn't like the fact that things were actually happening. But as the book goes on, I don't really delve a lot into that um, topic. It becomes more of the greater conspiracy of what's causing the riots because New Orleans ends up descending into a Portland-like uh, scenario where everybody, it, 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 the law enforcement has backed out, a group of rioters and protesters with, with guns has essentially taken over uh, this zone, if you will, and they are uh, occupying uh, downtown New Orleans. So that's a lot of the plot, and then obviously Alex Shepard, he gets involved and with standard Alex Shepard stuff, some things go right for him, some things go very wrong for him, but he ends up getting to the bottom of it. Uh, by the end of the book, but it does set up another book that uh, I hope you guys will enjoy. I'm not going to spoil it, but the last, uh, the epilogue sets up an, another um, book in the Spectre series, although it doesn't involve Spectre, it's just that universe, uh, it does set that up. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, that book will be picking up where Finney Flight left off and kind of what happened with Kruger and all that stuff. And then my plan is uh, after that book, so after the next book, it's gonna set up a fighter pilot-ish book where the world is at war and old fighter pilots have to pick up arms and start flying, which I think is a really cool concept. So uh, that's what's on tap for now. In fact, with the writing, I do intend to kind of back off on YouTube a little bit because part of the reason that this is the longest it's ever taken me to write a novel. Usually I could write, 
you know, 60 to 90 days, and I'm not even just kidding. I mean, seriously, 60 to 90 days, I could write a full-length novel. And in this case, it took almost two years. Uh, actually, it might just be two years. I'd have to go back and look. And that's because of, you know, the YouTube obligations, keeping content going. And like I talked about, you know, kind of some of the rip from the headline stuff that kind of made me go, oh, geez, this is getting too, too serious. But uh, I do intend to get back into writing because that is still my primary passion and the primary reason this channel even exists. I'd like to get the next book in the uh, Spectre series done uh, and that, the, then the following book after that. And then also uh, I'm toying with the idea of kind of a make them tell you no book and whether that is kind of telling my story or telling other people's stories or a mix in between, a nonfiction kind of a, you know, I did it so you can too kind of book um, based off the theme of this channel, which I think will be really good. So um, anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. So quick video, just wanted to uh, introduce NO Justice. I hope you'll enjoy it. Um, I, I Like I said, I really enjoyed writing it and I enjoyed the people that have read it so far. I've enjoyed their comments, uh, my beta readers, if you will. So um, the editing process, so to give you a little insight into the um, self-published author world. Once the book is written, it goes off to an editor and I have to do a cover design. The cover design uh, was done by uh, eBook Launch. They did a great job. And I went with a new company for the editing, uh, Imbue Editing, for the very first time I've used them. And I gotta say, I will never uh, recommend them again. It just did not go very well. The first editor they gave me, uh, so what I had paid for was uh, a line edit and then a proofread, so two rounds essentially of editing. The first round was just awful. The editor that, that took it um, had something with her computer or something formatting. When I got it back, it, it had, you know, the first five chapters had been duplicated and moved to another section between like chapter 15 and 20. And then all of her comments from like chapter 40 on were gone because she did something with the formatting, screwed up the whole document and stuff. So I went back to them and said, hey, look, this isn't gonna work. You guys need to redo this. And they said, okay, no problem. They did, and they gave it to a guy who approached it more as an English professor might, you know, is talking about, well, what's this character's motivation? What's this character's motivation? Which is fine. Got through it, made all the changes. He did a much better job. But then when I went back and said, hey, okay, it's time for the proofread, they said, nope, we already gave you two reads and we're sorry you're upset. So I wouldn't recommend them. I think that's a pretty poor business practice, especially considering they screwed up so much in the first time. And so I feel like for what I actually paid for, I only got half and that kind of sucks. But uh, I do recommend ebook launch for the cover design and then all the formatting stuff I've done. And I'm going to upload it to uh, Kindle for ebook purposes and then for print as well. So it'll be available in print if you can order it online. And then draft to digital is what I use for all the other ebook uh, formats. And then Audible, I'm doing auditions right now for a new narrator for Alex Shepard and just trying to get that tone right. So hopefully I find a good narrator and then I expect the, the audiobook will probably be out, I don't know, probably uh, fall or um, winter. It takes a little bit longer for the audiobook. Uh, it's just a longer process. But anyway, I'm excited about that and I'm excited to get writing uh, on the next one. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Thank you.